Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and I'm here with a strange guy named Pahimar. What's up, Pahimar? That... How did you get into my house? How'd you get into my house? Uh, I built this. I'm paying the mortgage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do pay the mortgage, that's true. Alright, so uh, this is episode 11 of Crash Landing. How are you? I'm good. I'm actually a little bit tired. I've been doing some building off camera. Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of work off camera too. Yeah, well, what yeah. have you done? Uh, some things. What have you done? Uh, I built us a new walled compound. Ooh, you walled this off? Yeah, I'm just flying around short on. Uh, yeah, oh, wow, yeah, it. you did. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, like, that. that's, that's yeah. a lot of wall. Yeah. Old home, new home. You were talking about you wanted some space for some farming. I gave you, yeah. like, tons of room. I and think you all... saw my hand glider, by the way, don't you? Uh, I might. I'm not about to check because I'm flying and I don't want to fall to my death. Yeah, don't do that. But it's wow, all lit up really, too. Like, I I noticed the wall like right here, and I figured you just kind of walled off a little bit. Like, I didn't realize that you walled off that much, like all the way over there. Yeah, I think it's something like 100 by 400. Wow, nice, dude. Yeah, it's all lit up too, so we can run around at night and not get attacked. And the wall, like, is like six blocks high. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't done that half slab thing around the outside to make sure spiders don't climb up. Okay. That's cool. But yeah, dude. But yeah, there dude. we go. Looks nice. Well, I feel like what I've done is paltry by comparison. It probably is. I spent about 20 minutes and two or three stacks of bone meal, but I got myself a red rose. Um, and in the process, look in this chest. <laughs> I got some Pam's Harvest Craft stuff while I was bone mealing grass. <laughs> Um, uh, did you just need the rose red dye? Yeah. You know, I, I have some from the city. Yeah, I saw you had some dandelion yellow. I didn't see any rose red. I think it's back at the city right now. Oh, see? That's why you should carry your stuff over. Uh, the reason I needed rose red dye, Pahimar, uh, was because our next quest requires us to make a GPS tool, which requires some red plastic. And for that, we need fire flower seeds. And the only way to get those are grass seeds from Xnilo and Rose Red combined in a crafting table. And if I'm correct, then yes, I just dropped them in there and they're ready to go. So I am ready, uh, provided you don't mind me using a diamond, I can hand in our next quest. I guess I'm okay with this. I guess. You're okay with this? Okay. Do any more glass laying around? I need a glass pane and I need one. Well, I have a piece of sand so I could always smelt it up. Let's see, so I'm oh, guessing I you are making several something in Technological things. Revolution. Uh, no, but actually we did, um, one of the th things I did do was uh, open up the Technical Revolution and the Creating Life quest line. How'd you manage that? I, I did a little bit of, I did a little bit of crafting off camera too. Um, let's see, let me craft this up real fast. Just need a piece of redstone and then I should be good to go. Okay, so that, unless there's something else that we need to be doing here, under pressure, tools of the trade. Oh, he wants me to make an air cannon? Are you kidding me? All right, well, obviously we have to do something a little different. Uh, so I'm not ready to hand in tools of the trade yet, but let's look at the quests that I did complete. Um, if you look at the ramping up quest, remember we talked last episode about needing a grinder and a reactant dynamo? Mm-hmm. So uh, I figured thing is boring, so I just did that off camera. So did the crafting for that, um, used a bunch of resources, but I mean, that's going to get us some, I, I did a lot of looking and unless like there's some way to generate RF that I'm not aware of outside of big reactors, um, I think this really is the most efficient way for us to generate power right now. We could generate power from um, gunpowder directly instead of the mob essence plus gunpowder route using a TNT generator, but that's like 64,000 RF per gunpowder versus 160,000 RF per gunpowder with the mob essence. So I feel like we should go the three times more efficient route. Oh, by the way, I have to yell at you. What have I done? When I logged in here, your shell constructor was half constructed and your energy cell next to your shell constructor was out of power. Well, it's a good thing I can't die when I'm logged off. Yeah. But I mean, like, I feel like you might have died while you were building the wall. Well, no. I was safe. Maybe. I always right. break the safe wall. 
I don't know that you do. There's something else I'd gotten recently that I wanted to use and show off. What was it? Was it? Um, so I got some fire flower seeds. I got um, those two things created. And in the process of doing that, I think that reacting dynamo quest is what unlocked the new, the two new quest lines. And um, one of the things in the new quest line is already crafted because it was part of the reacting dynamo quest crafting chain. So we have some quests to hand in if you would like. Let's do it. So first off for me, uh, grab the ramping up reward. Um, and for now, I guess put the um, mob essence in this chest here. And the gunpowder in the barrel that you get. And okay. then apparently technological revolution is a new line that opened up. Uh, one of the things I had to craft was a printed circuit board, the logic expansion card, and a machine frame. These are all parts of the things I had to craft for, um, you know, the other quest lines. So uh, we have covering the basics done. I would like you to pick Invar for me, if you would, sir. Done. Thank you. And that gets us two machine frames, which is hugely useful for us. Uh, the reason I wanted you to pick Invar is I discovered something while I was doing all this crafting. We are currently not really getting a good source of nickel. I discovered that nickel is one of the ores that we do not get from dust. The only way to get nickel is from sand or gravel. Um, so the little bits of gravel that we've been pulverizing or you know smashing in our sifter here have been getting us like a little bit of nickel, but for the most part, we really don't have any nickel. So that's something we're gonna have to keep in the back of our mind. So Invar is made with nickel, and that's why I asked you to grab that. Okay. Um, so that's all the, uh, prattling I have. What would you like to do? I went to the city and I got us elevators. Ooh, fancy. Um, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Well, hmm, we should really set up this grinder. Um, having the grinder would be very, very nice. Um, the grinder covers a five by five area. So I don't know what you want to do about your mob drop farm thing, but we could maybe turn it into a grinder farm instead um, is Natura on this map? I honestly don't know. Uh, there's a cloud block from Chisel, but I don't know if it prevents fall damage. I would like to, what I'm thinking is we could, like, put some blocks down here. I don't know if we want to do water, but something to prevent the fall damage of the mobs. And then have them be in a 5x5 five five room, or a 3x3 three three room even, that the grinder affects and just kills them that way instead of fall damage. They get killed by the grinder. Then we'll be able to collect mob essence, and the mob essence plus gunpowder is going to be a huge amount of power for us. Fair deal? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, Pahamar says. He's like, I don't care, Dire Wolf, shut up. Hey, right, I'm this busy might not making actually you a uh, elevator setup that you can't fall through. Oh, well, that's nice of you. I'm going to real quick try and get this Tools of the Trade quest done. Um, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. I might be able to wrap this up. I was literally just getting to the point where I was ready to do that last part of Tools of the Trade when we started recording here, so I didn't quite get to that point yet. But do I have any more stuff? I might need to hammer up some... Uh... some glass. What are you doing now? Setting up elevators. Well, that sounds fun. It's better than a stairway or a ladder. I hope it's not configured that it requires experience, because that's like my least favorite thing. We have a lot of junk chests. I want you to know that. It 
there. We'll leave the the stairs, but we're almost done with this elevator setup. Cool. Yeah, I gotta remember. So, what did I want to do this episode? I don't know. I just keep track of what I'm working on. I don't pay attention to you. Yeah, I'm just a mod dev noob. Yeah, what do you know, Pymar? I know how to make you die in code. You do. Yeah, totally not. You and I should apparently. <laughs> that wasn't meant to sound as creepy as it just did. Yeah, but it did. I'm oh, good. I do have some sort of terribly stuff. upset about that. I know you wouldn't be. All right, so I think I've got the next piece of this taken care of. I've got an air cannon. Hooray! Let's see if that completes the quest that I'm working on. Apparently not, because it doesn't list as being... Oh, wait, yeah, one quest on claim rewards. Sweet. Tools of the trade is complete, sir. Um, machine upgrade... Item life versus dispel. Uh, that's easy. And item life upgrade. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter too much. You grab dispenser, I'll grab item life. And make sure to put the printed circuit board in the top chest here. You realize we got all three. It wasn't to choose a reward. It wasn't? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. I was half paying attention to what I was doing. Bad direwolf. You only half pay attention? No. I know, I'm terrible. Alright, so that's that cool stuff. I can probably put this in here too. We're running out of chest room space, by the way. Like, it's almost silly. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's a good point. Do you want to come back in a minute, Pahamar, when we have a couple things uh, sorted otherwise? Sure. Alright, guys, we will see you in just a minute. Hey, Direwolf. Yes, Mr. Fahimar, what can I do for you? I'm looting the city. Sweet. Uh, be careful. Yeah, I'll try. Why is some of the things here, like, super fast to walk on? Um, yeah, there's some, like, weird blocks that are like that. Man, you are a mess maker in the chests. Do you know that? Yeah. I've, yeah. I've got these chests somewhat logically organized, and you're like, hey, here's a chest with a bunch of uh, ingots in it. I'm going to put a machine frame. Uh, no, 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 no. no, no. Oh, bye, Mar. Are you dead? I might live this. There's a flying spider. Take that, flying spider. Haha, -ha, you died. Not me. Um, so let's see. I kind of would like to have... I think if it went right here, if I just put water in there, let's get ourselves the grinder that I made. I'm going to try and set up this grinder, Pahamar, so we can start collecting mob essence. And once I'm comfortable with the amount of mob essence we have, we can start using the dynamo that I made. And I'll feel a lot better about it. I'm glad I harvested these stained glass panes. Yeah. I dug myself down into the dust and put the glass panes above me as a roof so I could regen some regen. health. Nice. I guess I'm going to go with a portable tank for now, for the mob essence storage. Uh, so for that, I'm going to need a piece of copper. And I'll need some fluid ducts, and I probably wouldn't mind having a chest, just for the time being. And I'm, I'm planning to eventually route these via barrels, of course, but for now, chest will do. Yeah, there's a lot of drops in here, dude. So I wonder if I put, like, the grinder...
That is almost covering everything. I guess I want it to be out one more. Where's the spawner? Jesus Christ. Oh my God. You having fun over there? No, wow, there's some no. giant zombies that just fell. All right, that looks pretty safe. So, if that's there, then I just need some power to go into it. I'd really like to be able to turn this on and off so that I can, like, I have an idea on how to do that, actually. Can we come back in a minute? I want to test something. Yes. Actually, you might know this. No! Oh, poor Fahamar. All right. You, sir, need to make sure that you don't do something terribly silly. Well, I think I figured well, out where the spawner is. <laughs> well, that's good. You have a lot of arrows in you. Don't forget to reload so your uh, stuff works. Yeah, okay. Let's come back in a sec. Okay. All right, Pahamar, I have an idea. Uh, I have a gravestone. <laughs> is my clone done? Uh, probably not. Be surprised if it were. I can try and speed it up. Like in my experience, sink shells can basically are throttled to how much RF they get. Oh, it is done. Wow, look at that. Okay, cool. Um, but oddly enough, they're pretty slow on this map, no matter what. So I feel like he changed that. Like he nerfed how fast they can be made. I can break a redstone energy cell with a pickaxe, right? I believe so, and it will wind up losing whatever is stored in it, though, if nice. there is any energy Magnetic in there. Magnetic wrench full of uh, pressure, five transistors, cool. and four ender plant seeds. Ender lilies or ender plant seeds? Ender plant. Oh, okay, I'm less excited about those. Pressure chamber wall. Can I not break this with pickaxe? No, I can. It just doesn't show the break. We can make a bigger pressure chamber, can't we? Uh, yes. Is there a benefit in doing that? Mm, not really. Okay, well, I got four pressure chamber walls. Cool. Um, we don't have anything like... Red net cable is really just a little bit of plastic and redstone. That might be the way I want to go for this build. This might be really good, or it might not. We'll see. Oh, cool. Someone told me in the comments that if you look under the reception desk, like, you know some of the buildings have those fancy blocks and everything? Yeah. And there's, like, a writing table in the middle of the floor. I was told if you look at okay. the bottom of it, you might actually find something. There's a liquid of some sort of leaking out here. Well, that's neat. It's hard with Whale to figure out what liquids are what. Ha! Knew it. What? The factory buildings, how they spawn zombie pigment, it's because the spawner yeah. is inside of um, what looks like the boiler. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh -oh, it's getting to be nighttime. Do you want me to potentially sleep through the night, or...? I got 37 compressed iron. Sweet. Oh god, yes, sleep through the night. Okay. I'm gonna try and get to somewhere safe. I am sleeping. Go ahead and log. Oh, good grief. Okay. okay. It's daytime. Guys this and viewers, this is totally not the same as G. Totally. So I'm thinking, Pahamar, I'm going to have, like, a piston system that will retract and deploy to... Oh, I hate I'm these so things. so deep in the city. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did fly this through this cool building, though. That's neat. It's, it looks like it's, like, the center building of the city. There's, like, an invisible spider here. He died. His name was Ghost Spider, and he terrifies me, and I don't ever want to see anything like him again. I'm going to run and hide now. 
How'd you make these fancy, huge cobblestone tiles? I guess it's chisel plus cobblestone. Chisel, yeah. Cool. My problem is every time I go into this area, there's so much loot on the ground that I'm having trouble with my inventory. <laughs> like, just existing. I'm gonna pull my tools away for the time being. Guess this can go in here. Alright, so I'm going to want... Is there a chisel hanging around? There is. Good man, Pahimar, you left it here. I did. Oh, I did. I presume you did. Huge cobblestone tiles. Okay. A lot of cobblestone. That's okay. I won't complain. Kind of like chisel. Neat it's a mod, isn't cool it? mod, yeah. Gives you a lot of decoration options. Oh, Where'd I get blaze powder from suddenly? Not that I'm complaining, but all of a sudden there's blaze powder in my inventory and I don't know where it came from. Oh, it probably... I walked by this thing. Okay. Alright, so that should be cool. What I'm going to do here then is try and get this thing built in a reasonable time frame. Before another ghost spider shows up. Because that's what we need. This city is Probably so should not have left my excavator. Is it scary? That was scary. Might as well just do this all at once. I was going to do like part of the build and see if it worked, but I'm just going to go for broke. I'm getting some decent loot though. Well, that's good. I hear zombie pigmen and I'm just like, I'm outy. Yeah, you don't want any part of zombie pigmen. They are by far the worst guys here. I can believe that. Let's see if there's anything on second level. Got it. Found the spawner first try. Nice. And of course, I bet you the level above is going to be terrifying. Ho oh, ho ho, this is going to be cool, Pahamar. I think this is actually working so far. Whoa, dude. What? The blaze, instead of setting me on fire, just knocked me out the window and I still didn't die. What? I'm invincible. I wouldn't go that far. I am moderately hurt. Yeah, that sounds more appropriate. I'm pretty sure the grinder won't drain power if it's not actually killing anything, but I kind of want to test that. Um, just to be sure. Let's see. Got some bread here, blaze head, another... 271. Blade, high oven controller. Sweet, I think it killed something. Alright, so my only concern then is if stuff can get out of this area. And it probably can with the way it's currently configured, so I should get some more cobblestone. The only thing I'd really have to worry about at this point then is spiders. You could probably do that half slab thing that you were um that we did on Agrarian Skies. Do you remember that? Oh. Robo Dyer. Um, you wanna come back in a second when Team uh, Speak's not bad? Better. Uh it sounds like we're a little bit better. Hooray! Huge cobblestone tiles. <laughs> so See, what I like what about I chisel is that it's completely easy to do what you want to do with it. Like, there's no complicatedness at all. Alright, so one little concern. Well, I guess that's not such a concern. What have you 
done. Awesomeness. Oh, oh, I see what I you're going to do. do. You got pistols you ready? holding back water, and I fall in a hole. And that grinder kills them eventually. Nice. I guess some of them are still falling on these things here. I thought they would be falling in the three by three centerpiece, but I guess they do like drift a little bit. So um, how come the item are these residual items that won't get picked up? Um, they're from the mobs that were falling before. If you look in the chest behind the grinder, so if the grinder kills the mob, its loot will go into the chest back here. So come over here because if a skeleton falls, he's gonna shoot you. Or there's an Enderman who just teleports away. Yeah, I guess that might be a semi problem, but. So the grinder runs like every, I think, so often. You'll notice that there's some mob essence in Ten there. Seconds. Yeah. Um, any loot that gets dropped goes into the chest. So what I'll probably do off camera between this episode and next is make a few item ducks and set up some barrels maybe in this room whose main purpose will be to exist for collecting the loots. And then I will want a fluid duct, uh, which I already actually have on me. So if I want to do that like right now, I probably could. You're so distracted. You don't want to hear about the cool loots I got. Yeah, what cool loots did you get? Well, first there's an Enderman in our base. Cool, kill it. Wow. Preferably with fire. Yeah, that's totally not terrifying. I know. What'd you do? It teleported away like an Enderman does. Is it daytime or nighttime right now? It's daytime. Oh, okay. You, you don't have to worry up. about them. Um, so All what right, loot did you get? Yeah, uh, some of your loots. Redstone energy cell. Nice. 37 compressed iron ingots. I approve. 5 invar ingots. Okay. 12 iron ingots. Getting boring. Twelve redstone ore, chopper plant chopper. seeds, potion plant seeds, ender plant seeds, a pneumatic wrench, okay, five pressure chamber walls, Meh. four capacitors, five transistors. I'll take those. Those are nice to have. They're part of the printed circuit boards, and they're going to be uh, used for any MFR machines we want to make. So we have a cool system. I'm going to make uh, or I'm going to get a few more pieces of rubber so I can move that lever out of the corner it's currently in and get it to a more reasonable area. Um, but otherwise, I think we have a nice system for both collecting the loot that we're getting from this stuff and for collecting um, mob essence. And it's an on off switch that will either kill them instantly when they fall or not. Do you approve? Yeah, OK. You kind of approve? Sorry, yeah, yeah. I see how it is. Um, I guess what I'd like to do right now is bone meal some trees. You do that. I will. All right, I think it's time to wrap up, buddy. Wow, it's really that late already? It feels like it. Should we check? Mm, no, you're right, actually. We've been at this a while. I ran around the city yeah. and died a lot, so... I died a lot, right. only, a lot only once. You died a lot once. But it was a lot of deaths that one time. It was a very big death. It was it was very painful. Mostly because oh, well, it was well. death. I found a building that looks like it could be cool to check out later. We have some elevators yeah. to make it a lot faster to get to the top. Right. And I found a couple more factory buildings, so let's see. We should probably do some quests and stop doing all this building shenanigans. Well, this mob drop thing that we have now is going to significantly increase our power production because right now our main stopping point is the amount of power we have. Um, but you know, because of this, we should be able to easily, semi easily, produce RF at this point, and then we can start doing things like MFR machines and um, I would move several straight expansion to the basic machines. Yeah, stuff. the yeah. thermal expansion machines because they're the basic machines quest. And that involves a pulverizer, making a pulverizer, a redstone furnace, and an energetic infuser. Right. Which will all be nice things to have. Plus then there's basic AE. Right. I found so, the Enderman. Did you kill him? No, he's at the top of the tower, and he's staring at me. 
<laughs> He's like, you're the guy who hit me earlier. And I just knocked him down. And he died for fall damage. Win. Nice. And he dropped an Ender Pearl. Just experience, but we have Ender Pearls. Yeah, the only downside, I guess, is we won't get Ender Pearls from this trap because when they hit the water, they will teleport away immediately. That, that's why I was kind of looking for something like clouds or something that's other than water to drop their fall, but I mean, this works pretty well, especially because it's an easy on off switch. The other thing is, like, I could always build, like, it doesn't have to drop all the way down. I could build a platform, like, that they land on, and just the grind will be higher up. Yeah, but I like this being like an on off so we can turn it on and off type of deal. Because the grinder uses power, so if we ever get low on power, we might want to turn it off and let the mob drop continue. Well, things to think, keep in mind for next episode. Yep. For now, guys, Daryl20 and Pahamar signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll be back next time to start utilizing this mob essence and seeing what kind of crazy shenanigans we can do with it. Sound like a plan, buddy? Sounds like the best of plans. All right, I'm going to do some barrel building between this episode and next. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. See you later, guys.